while the initial playthrough is over with, the extra videos are still available. As a matter of fact, the first two extra videos will be covering two specific battles that are only for certain Musao warriors. Like the first one, Pirate Attack on the High Seas, which is available to Gan Ning and Xiao Kiao for some reason. Oh, I understand Gan Ning, but Xiao Kiao, seriously? She wasn't even around at that time. But whatever the case, I'm not really focusing on the uh, introduction for this mission. Quite frankly, because I forgot. But one thing is perfectly clear I got to put some. Uh, stuff on Gan Ning because I haven't played most of the officers yet. I mean, I haven't had time. This holiday schedule has been kicking my behind, seriously. So, I'm just gonna equip a couple of stuff here, and you know what? I haven't even equipped the speed scroll yet, so I might as well show that off, too. With that said, though, I'm going to keep the bodyguards that I have here as a sword and proceed to start. The wind, the smell, I love it aboard a boat. Now, I bet you're wondering, why am I starting a Musao over again? Well, it's the only way to get this we and one other mission, because those two missions do not show up in free mode. And for some reason, I can't proceed any further with the horse, so I'm going to have to do this on foot. Anyway, uh, as it stands, ladies and gentlemen, while this is a starting mission for not only Gan Ning, but also Xiao Kiao for some reason, um, this would be where they would actually get a little bit of um, help from. Now, if you honestly want them to be stronger when coming into their Musao, at least have someone in their group beat the Yellow Turbans first. Then, if you have unlocked them, just keep playing the yellow turbines from there. This normally is supposed to be the startup mission for Xiao Kiao and Gan I don't know why it's just these two. I'm pretty sure there was another person. But I've checked every last one of them and they don't have the pirates. I think some of them have the mountain bandits, which is the next mission we're going to be doing next part. And there was one other mission that everyone else could do. But the problem is, that is only on Extreme Legends. Oh yeah, and I can't jump across. That's, that's ridiculous. There's a barrier there preventing me from jumping across. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to go this way. I mean, I have forgotten where the heart... Not the heart, the uh, dim sum and the fairy wine of this area is. So I will actually uh, put it on the uh, description just in case anyone is curious. Because in this initial playthrough, I just forgot where the uh, dim sum or the fairy wine is. But here is our first lieutenant commander. It's basically a generic officer, and all you gotta do is just chop him up. Be careful, seeing as how you are starting off usually without any items. Uh. Come on! Come as many as dead! What? Are you. Are you. You vermin! Don't say my name so lightly! 
Sorry I have to interrupt that professor. As you are starting, you have nothing. Depending on the officer, you have nothing. In other words, if you are starting this out as Don Ning for the first time, then guess what? You are in for a rude awakening if you think you're going to win this. Because you will be at base defense, base attack, and base Musa. So bear that in mind. The only way that your uh, attack, uh, defense, Musa and HP would get any stronger before starting out on this is if you actually um, beaten the game or played a lot of free mode. That's the only way. But at this point in time, um, we are practically starting this particular new mission off. Now, here is the thing about Don Ning. I remember telling you that he is broken, and yeah, he can be broken if you actually have an enemy officer in the corner. The same thing can apply with the computer. But the problem with his Musao is the fact that he's running around in a uh, straight line, and sometimes he can be hard to control. But I can assure you, if the computer is running you over I with God Ning, by God, he will run you over. So, all that is left now is to continue to chop down the remaining pirates in this area, and also capture a couple of guard captains. Or kill them, actually. Because after all, once these guard captains are gone, that'll be less soldiers I have to deal with. And just so we're clear, ladies and gentlemen, the only thing hard mode will do... Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you pick up some weapons. Because sometimes they will have weapons in the area. But as I was saying, the only thing hard mode will do in these stages is to give certain defensive buffs to all of the enemies on the field. That's basically it. And they hit harder. And they're much smarter. That's it. It's not really much of a challenge. I mean, yeah, it can get to be a challenge once you play this on hard to try to get all the weapons. But once you max out your character or get max items, you can breeze through that. I mean, yes, you may take more hits than usual than what you do on normal and easy, but you can just breeze through this no problem once you get uh, the right amount of accessories to pursue the level weapons. I haven't pursued them because of the fact that I have been dealing with well, not only other playthroughs, but also the holiday schedule of my job, and not to mention the fact that I'm working another job as well, so there is that. I have been a pretty busy guy, so if you for some reason unsubscribe because of quality of the content or the fact that things aren't coming out the way you like, I apologize in advance. But anyway, I'm just running around killing everything in sight and looking for empty boxes and empty uh, jars just so I could find the uh, dim sum and fairy wine on this stage. And then I forgot where it is. Ooh, weapons. That's even better. Finding weapons is great too. I mean, after all, your default weapon doesn't have any stats on them, but once you find a um, better default weapon, I mean, you can work with that, and more importantly, proceed to the next stage, which, by the way, Ganning completely skips. That's the thing. He completely skips the Battle of Hulao Gate and the Yellow Terminal Zone and goes straight to uh, Chirby. So bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. You're playing, and I think Xiao Kiao does that too. So if you 
do happen to unlock that stage, it would be in your best interest to uh, take all the characters that you have to also unlock, which by the way, you could unlock by doing some of the requirements. Oh yeah, that's the one thing I like about this new South Pole. You can actually run throughout the... Okay, let me try this again. This is what I like about this Musa attack if you have a 10 second Musa fall. You could pretty much go very high speeds with Gan Ning throughout the entirety of the stage. And God forbid if you max out the speed score, you'll probably cover half the stage with his Musa. And if you max out his Musa, well, you'll cover a lot of the stage and attacking enemies in the process. But as I was saying, there are some people who actually skip the Hulao Gate battle and also the uh, battle of Chirby and well, well, they skip a lot of things basically. And eventually, you have to uh, go on free mode and take some of the characters that would be handy there and use them in that battle. So in order for you to actually uh, use characters like Gan Ning in the Battle of the Yellow Turbo Rebellion, you're going to have to also unlock the stage first. Yeah. All we need to do now is just take care of the Lieutenant Commander, and soon we can take care of the Commander himself. Because keep in mind, the commander is fighting the captain. And if the captain dies, well, you die too. Well, actually, you lose, but still, the point is, the captain must not die. Oh, by the way, there he is, I think. Oh, that's the commander. Yeah, there's the commander. So let's deal with him. Your life ends now. Ah, that cheesy voice acting. But you gotta be careful though, despite the fact that the commander is just a generic officer, he shares the same uh, ridiculous boost as everyone else in Dynasty Warriors, just so happens to be a commanding officer. So bear that in mind. Also, there's something that you need to pay attention to is the fact that you will be surrounded, but not to mention pay attention to the commander on this captain on the captain of this thing. And one last thing, if you're using God and you get everybody in a cluster, make sure that you have a loose out way. Oh god, I'm I'm down to half, that's not good. Yeah, I'm about to finish this. Uh, just who the hell are you? Ha! It is irritating that worthless vermin like you should call yourselves pirates. And that is the end of Pirate Attack on the High Seas. We only have one more uh, mission to take down, and that won't be until the next part. But as I was saying, the um, Musao officers, I think there's a good number of officers that take on this mission. I think there's only three of them. And then there's some that only take on the uh, Mountain Cloud Bandits, which is going to be the next extra video. So at this uh, regard, you think that Ganning would have a sword like that? No, what he has in his hand is the level 4 sword. And that's not going to change until you get it. So with that said, folks, I'm done here. And I will see you guys in the second extra video when we show off the Mountain Cloud Bandits. And no, Woozy Mai will not be there. See you guys next time.